So I'm going to try to do this on my phone here for you. Uh, set up Tool Wizard for the depth of the tools, the Z-height on the tools for multiple tools in the uh, Benchmill 6100. I'm in Tool Setup Wizard. I need to define a reference height. I just have gone through this, follow the prompts as it asked me to. Um, I've already inserted the reference tool. It's just my half inch end mill. I just use the, the biggest end mill I have. Okay, so what it's asking me... Uh-huh. With the reference tool in place, you will need to move the tool to the reference height. So the reference height needs to be the same for all the tools. And what that means is, what I've done here is I've taken and put a little jig that we made, a little fixture type deal. And what I'll be able to do here is lower my tool down and when it touches, notice I'm changing increments so I don't smash anything. Right when that touches, the LEDs will light up. So as soon as that touches, uh, I'm good. I'll come back over to the laptop and I'll check uh, next. Okay, remove reference tool. Machine does its tool change position. It asked me to remove the reference tool. I'm not going to because I'm going to set that tool up again. So congratulations, you're done with the reference tool. Hit next. Hit next. Now it's saying you want to set up more of your tools. So yes, I do. Um, first tool I'm going to use is tool number seven from the Project Lead the Way library. It's the half inch flat end mill. I insert tool. I never even took it out, so it's still in there. I can just hit next. And same deal. Go back to the hand wheel or the jog menu, whichever you've got. And change my increment. Change my increment right when it lights up. Right there. I'd say we're good. And we're back. I shut that. Uh, I paused because the air compressor was on. So the, this box here is asking me, do I want to continue to use um, to set up more tool heights or am I done? So I want to do more. So I'll hit next. It's asking me which tool. I've got a, I've got a quarter inch end mill. Tool number three in the Project Lead the Way library. So I'll choose that. It'll do the tool change business again. There's my half inch end mill out of the machine. Okay, next. And then so you can tell when this is it's time for you to move it up and down because your hand wheel or jog wheel will light up green right over here. So. Right when I, right when that lights up. These little uh, jigs here, these little gauges are about 100 bucks on Amazon. I made this out of 3D printed plastic and a uh, couple of pieces of copper foil and some LEDs and a 9-volt battery because we could. Um, it's not terribly accurate. I would use a dial, uh, not a dial caliper. I would use a, a gauge block, uh, like a 1-inch gauge block if I was going to be machining something other than 
yo-yos and, and card boxes. If I was doing this in a metal mill or something, I would use a definitely use a gauge block. Now that my light is lit up, I come back over here and I click next. And I'm gonna go ahead and say I'm done. So what you're what you're seeing here is this little box. I don't know that I can make this bigger. This little box right here is saying that the tool length offset for tool number three is 0 .076, 0 0.07406. Okay, so that's the difference between the last tool I had in there and the tool I have in there now. Uh, I'm done. So I'll click finish. But I'm not quite done. What I've got to do now is come back over here. I'm activating my hand wheel and I'm going to go uh, and drive this machine to my actual part that's in there. And again, I'm just, for the purpose of the demonstration, not going to go crazy with getting this right on there. That looks okay to me. Um, there's pretty much no shadow for the demo. We're, we're all right. So what I'll do now is I'll go and I'll call that my part. I'll call that zero on my part. The machine knows tool three is in there. The machine knows tool seven has an offset from tool three. So if I do set axis to zero and I choose Z, make sure your offset here is zero and I click okay. Now, if I also, hold on, I'm also gonna show you another little trick that I like to do. If I uh, press F8 on the keyboard I get an option to go to different locations. You see that my X and my Y and my Z have not been set yet, so I need to do that. I'll do that real quickly as I uh, push pause here. All right, so I, so I set my Z for the location that I wanted. I set my height and everything. If I come over to the computer and I press F8, and I type in zero in the X, zero in the Y and 0.2 in the Z. And again, my feed rate, you can you can tone that down so you don't crash it. I'm gonna leave it at 60 and I'm gonna press go when you can see this. That's where I set it up. Okay, and you can take it again, a 0.2 gauge block and check and see. Um, I can also go right to zero. I don't like doing this because this is how you break machines and tools. Okay, so there's the zero and everything that I set. Another thing I could do is I could change and put my tool seven in there and do the same process. Just to check where the gauge box, send it to a location, send it to zero, zero, point one, point two, and then use a feeler gauge or gauge blocks under there to make sure everything is, uh, everything is nice before you run your first program. So I uh, hope that works. And let me know if you have any questions.